<clears throat> hey YouTube, this is Tony from White Hat Holsters. I uh, wanted to do a comparison video of the White Hat Holsters Max Tuck Hybrid in the Waistband Tuckable Holster versus the Crossbreed Super Tuck Holster. Um, we're just going to be kind of pointing out the main differences for you so you can be an educated consumer and make a wise decision for yourself. Uh, let's get into it. We're, both of these holsters are for the Taurus 24-7 9mm quick safety check for you on that. Nothing in the weapon. Empty magazine. Okay. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's look first at the um, size of these. If you've never seen hybrid in the waistband holsters, uh, a lot of them maintain the same design. Um, it's a very similar design in a lot of, a lot of the different holsters. Uh, but the size of these two uh, is roughly the same. The Max Tuck is just slightly wider than the Crossbreed. But uh, from top to bottom, um, that sizing is, is pretty much the same. Let's look at the fit of these. And uh, these type of holsters use a passive retention system. So <clears throat> uh, first in the Crossbreed, uh, if you give it sort of the upside down shake test, uh, the retention on the two is pretty much the same. The, the full retention on these type of holsters is not realized until you actually wear it, have your belt over it, sort of in your body pressure against here, sort of tightens this thing up a little bit and, and makes it a bit tighter. So while it might seem loose right out of the box, uh, when you put it on, I think you'll notice that the retention increases a little bit. But the fit on these is, is pretty much the same. Okay, the initial retention is pretty much the same. <clears throat> the uh, the cut on these is a little bit different, so let me show you that. Uh, the Crossbreed holster, um, Crossbreed gives you an option with theirs to, uh, this is the standard, the standard cut of it, okay? But they give you an option that they call a combat cut. They charge, I think, $10 or $15 to basically cut out a section of this leather right here. Uh, the reason they do that is <clears throat> uh, it's just a lot better you can get a better grip on your weapon if more of the the uh, the, the handle sticking out. So, <clears throat> kind of show you that here. I can I can get pretty much a full grip on this when it's in in the holster uh, versus the crossbreed standard cut like this comes comes a little bit further down the grip. So I can't. This finger is kind of in the way. You really can't get the full grip on it. But I've seen a lot of people. Um, modify this themselves and you know you could do it with ours as well I suppose if you wanted to cut this back a little bit uh, it's not a huge deal Crossbreed will do it for you they just charge you a, charge you an extra fee for that uh, so the fit the retention uh, is pretty close to the same the cuts a little different ours is probably closer to a combat cut style um, that the Crossbreed would charge you for uh, let's look at the the clips now the clips on these um, are both designed so that you can tuck a shirt in okay these are tuckable in the waistband holsters <clears throat> the crossbreed clips have this cross embossed on them and uh, some people don't like this it's kind of a matter of personal preference uh, to me it just makes it uh, makes it stand out a little more ours come in just a plain black clip like this okay but those are the two main differences on the clips. Um, they can accommodate the same size belt um, on, on both of these clips. The other thing I'll show you about the clips uh, and the way Crossbreed uses uh, the hardware that they use in the back, they use these things called the T-nuts. If you've never seen these before, they have little prongs on them that sort of that dig into the leather a little bit, I guess, to, to keep them in, in place better but the the problem I have with these sometimes is if you try and move these around much uh, every time you take this out and put it back in you kind of have to hammer it in place and these prongs tend to bend out a little bit so that can be a little problematic if you're going to be moving it around a lot uh, or even just sort of test fitting it. The other thing you'll notice about ours is um, Crossbreed has these four holes here for adjustment those are used to move the clips up and down. You can adjust both of these for ride depth and cant uh, according to your preference and where you're wearing it. Uh, we have a fifth hole here uh, that gives you a little more, a little more uh, options as far as ride depth and cant adjustment. 
<coughs> Let's talk about the leathers a little bit. Um, let me back up. Okay, so the Crossbreed uses the T-nuts. We use these Chicago screws. Um, they're rounded and flat on the back, uh, but, but they're essentially just screws. The under part of this screw here, the screw uh, backing, is, um, is textured. So that's what, that's what keeps this screw from loosening and keeps it in place. And it works very well without having the prong issue. So um, those are the differences there. Let's look at the leathers. Uh, Crossbreed's leather. Uh, Crossbreed comes in black or uh, black cowhide or uh, natural finished horsehide. Um, their leather is, uh, it's probably what you would classify a six to eight ounce weight, maybe six, seven ounce. And when I say weight, I'm, I'm really talking about the thickness of the leather here. Ours is closer to an eight to 10 ounce um, thickness. It's, it's a little bit thicker. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, the leather that we use is used strictly for holsters or for um, replica period body armor. This, this leather is also used for. It's very durable. Um, this is a good quality leather. They're both good quality leathers. Um, the other thing you'll notice is the crossbreed leather, black, black leather is dyed just on the front here. Ours is uh, drum dyed and that color goes all the way through. Um, not a huge difference. They both have a soft backing, uh, left natural soft backing on them. Um, ours also comes in a horse hide. Ours also comes in this style veg tan cow hide that we use for the custom work that we do, the custom tooling, the custom dyes. Um, this is an example of a brown cow hide one. Okay, this is well worn. This is one I wear a lot. Um, but our base models come in uh, black, brown cowhide, black cowhide, or the natural finished horsehide. Crossbreed comes in black or the natural horsehide. Um, let's talk about the Kydex on these. Uh, the black Kydex, Crossbreed comes in only in black. Ours also, the base models come in black. Um, the Kydex is pretty much the same on these. They're, they're, the, the fit and function of them is pretty close. Uh, the, the main difference, the crossbreed uh, Kydex is riveted onto the leather backing. We use the same Chicago screws we use on the clips we use on the Kydex and uh, the reason for that uh, gives you the same feel as far as against your body. The, the flat rivets are very comfortable. The flat Chicago screws rounded like this are also extremely comfortable. Uh, not a huge difference there. The main difference uh, between the two is the fact that we use these screws and we've designed the holster in such a way that the scabbard is interchangeable. So if you have more than one weapon, instead of buying a whole other holster, you just buy another scabbard uh, for it and uh, you can use the same holster for multiple weapons. Uh, let's talk about the price a little bit on these. Um, Crossbreed uh, basic black model $69.75 on their website. That doesn't include, um, that's plus shipping and all that. Ours is $59.95, so about a $10 difference there. Crossbreed, if you need another, if you have another weapon, you can buy another holster, another $69.75. Ours, uh, another black scabbard for another weapon is $19.95. Um, ours also comes, uh, Kydex also comes in, in multiple colors. Here's an example of a, a gunmetal gray. Uh, I showed you this one before, it has the forest digital camo, and the digital camos are very popular. Um, this one is the urban digital camo, uh, very popular as well. So those are the main differences between the two. Um, different options uh, for uh, customization with, with the Max Tuck, but those are the main differences. Kind of wanted to show you guys that. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, please leave them. We love, we'd love to hear your comments on this, uh, on the video and on the holsters themselves. So uh, looking forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, let us know.